Sorry, not the end that you guys were looking for, but just out of curiosity, when you look at the difference between the first and the second half, just what were the Celtics doing a little bit differently that made it a little tougher for you to find the basket? I mean, they were, I mean, Marcus was being way more aggressive as far as not, and he wasn't leaving me as much, like going to help. And because uh, early in the first half, he was, they were playing more team defense and he was helping. They were, I was, able to catch the ball with a lot of dribble and attack right away and create some space that way. But in the second half, it was more, he was more just connected to me. And when the, I didn't have the ball, he was still facing me and still connected to me. And I think, um, I mean, they just picked up the, the, the physicality and things like that. And uh, the rest were relying on the play and things like that. So it just, it was in their favor. So um, yeah, no, it's tough. You talked a lot about this team not being able to make mistakes against a Celtics team like that. I mean, what did you take away from the series that you know, can help you guys as you move forward? I mean, there's a lot. I mean, this this the team we were playing tonight was, I mean, right now the favorites. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They've they've been playing really well all year. They got a mixture of veterans and a mixture of young players. Um, they have a goal of winning championships. Really, that's their main goal. And coming off their finals, and, I mean, Ron, you can tell like the, I mean, they've been there before. And, uh, when you got vets like that and guys around that, I mean, are telling the young guys and making sure everybody's in their, their places, it makes it a lot easier. And so you can just tell they got the team around them that, I mean, they got a mixture of everything. So from starters to come off the bench and you just got to tip their hats sometimes and they make shots. And I mean, Jalen and Jason, those dudes, I mean, made some plays tonight. So you just got to tip their hats sometimes and give credit where it's due. Trey, I know it's tough because you just lost a playoff series, but what is what have these last six, eight weeks been like for you um, playing under Quinn, and what are your thoughts on the future? Uh, I mean, Quinn is the future. I mean, I, I believe uh, with him here, uh, the city's going to win a championship, and uh, it's just about bringing in the right pieces for him. And, uh, I mean, him obviously getting the full summer of bringing his people in, uh, training camp to put in what he wants to put in. It's kind of tough when you get in the position halfway through the year and you kind of want to put in your stuff, but um, we're kind of already halfway through the year and everybody's played 40, 50 games or 30 games, how many we were played at that point, but uh, we just, I, I think he's going to be great for us and I'm excited for the future with him. Trey, take us through that last four minutes of the game. It was, it was just, I think he was up by one and then what changed defensive wise, offensive wise? What changed to turn the game in their favor? Oh, I mean, like when you hit uh, some tough shots, I think Jalen hit a big three in front of our bench. I think it was either tied or uh, I think it was probably tied. And, and momentum plays like that, they hurt. I mean, just like we were in the last game. I mean, a couple of my threes, we were up, they were up thirteen, but a couple of threes can can hurt and uh, I mean, pull the momentum the other way. And that's kind of what happened tonight. And uh, just certain things like we didn't have a side out of bounds play in that corner. I mean, Quinn has never, we never went over practice and, and that stuff. Um, so certain situations we were just, it was just tough tonight. And uh, but you gotta give them credit; they, they came ready to play. Trey, just big picture though, how do you sum up this season as a whole, not just you know the last few games we've been in part of Quinn, but the whole season? Um, I mean. We we could we could not even have made the playoffs. I mean, it, it could have been worse. I think for us, we just we got to focus on the future now, and uh, we can't worry about the past and what all went on throughout the season, all that, all the nonsense and stuff. We got to focus on the, the the future and what we got what we got going. And uh, I mean, I think we showed strides. I think we showed moments what what we can do with Quinn as our coach and, and things like that. So uh, I'm excited for the future. Trey, you've said it a few times about Quinn being the future in the future. Um, over the last few weeks, how would you say your game has grown under Coach Snyder and maybe some things in which uh, he's instilled in you for the future? Uh, I mean, me and Q, I mean, constantly are talking uh, on things I can, I can be better at, uh, things I can improve at, and things that I'm doing good at that he wants me to keep doing. And uh, um, little things like, I mean, obviously picking up full court and just even showing and things like that. And um, little things that people may not even notice that we talk about. Uh, I've, I've gotten better at and I'm just constantly thinking about it. If I make a mistake, I'll apologize. I'm not gonna be perfect all the time right now, but I, there's some things I'm gonna focus on going into the summer and going into next season that uh, I'm looking forward to like, really working with them. And, uh, Cause we're both, 
I mean, I feel like we're both, I mean, he's really smart. I mean, I consider myself very smart too. So, I mean, the position that he puts our teammates in, it makes it a lot easier for me. So, uh, I'm looking forward to really working with him. Trey, you talked about the things that you improved on. Uh, how pleased are you with your improvement on defense? It seemed like that really picked up in the last three or four weeks of the season. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm happy, but I, to be honest, like I said at the beginning of the year, it's more about all effort. And uh, I think, I mean, for me, I just gave more effort <laughs> later in the year, and um, it just really showed. And uh, like, when it gets close to that time, you got to, you got to give more. So just try to be, just try to give more throughout the season, and. Um, yeah, just, just trying to do that. One more to Alex. Trey, you talk about all the talent that Boston, of course, has. And you talk about Quinn being the future. But what do you feel like is missing for you guys on maybe this roster to be able to take that next step and to be able to pursue a championship just like Boston? Oh, that's a that's a question for Landry. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to sit up here and play GM. That's that's a question question for Landry and Quinn and those guys. So I just know. I mean, I trust him and I trust those guys that. I mean, we're gonna have a team next year that. I mean. I mean, it should be looked at as, I want to be looked at as a team that, I mean, should come in and win a championship, you know what I'm saying? Not just not just be in the picture, just be in the running. Like, I want to come into the season like the team that people look at that they can, they can win and they got a chance. So that's my whole, that's my whole focus and my mindset. And um, that's just the plan, too. Thank you. Glad to hear you.